a warm welcome to all of you and uh, it's a great pleasure and honor to introduce dr madhav he has scored an amazing result in uh, december 2021 exam for fmg he scored an amazing 243 and uh, we are really proud in the entire team arise is extremely proud with his efforts uh, dr madhav welcome and how's it feeling to you thank you sir thank you so much yes sir i'm feeling great right now that's yes, amazing that's amazing score uh, dr madhav and uh, everybody back in arise also is very very proud and happy with your achievement and all the faculty teams and uh, everybody has sent a great uh, warm wishes to all, to all, to you and your family and it has been a great achievement dr madhav which attempt was this i mean was it your first attempt or you had uh, this uh, in a second at the third attempt yes sir it's my first attempt sir and that's an that's an amazing score that's an amazing score in a first attempt yeah madhav and madhav like uh, which college are you from sir i am from zaporozhia state medical university ukraine sir that's nice that's nice and uh, where are you from basically in india sir i am from mahabubnagar sir telangana so how was your journey like to score 243 in a first attempt it is not easy i mean how did you plan your journey were you a very studious student from the very beginning when the first day of your mbbs or uh, did you start studying towards the end of part of your preparation i am very studious sir since my past year but i used to take breaks in between but i used to stay consistent in some or the other way actively or passively by discussing with friends or by revising some notes or some topics which i felt the which i felt there was okay i should revise these topics if not i'll forget i used to concentrate on those topics uh, initially but later when i came back to india during my core preparation time that is from august i focused on high yield topics and where i was deficient sir. then then i um, did grant us and um, focused on high yield topics and revise notes sir. that's it so during your preparation as you said you started much earlier was it different in your first couple of years and uh, you shifted to a different strategy towards the end that is what you mean to say that in the first couple of years you're concentrating more on basics and in the end you went for high yield content yes sir actually in the end means uh, high yield content includes clinical subjects right sir and in final year we are into clinical subjects so that's what i meant so anatomy and pathology were already completed so i started focusing on surgery and okay. uh, obstetrics those subjects how was your uh, preparation for your grad under graduation did you study some standard textbooks or were you like completing robins or something uh, yes sir i used to study for some subjects standard textbooks and for some subjects in our library there used to be some material which which is correlated with our university curriculum so i used to nice. use them and uh, what what was your major uh, major uh, strong subjects that i would say you know that give you a huge boost in your preparation like which are your core subjects uh, my strong subjects include anatomy uh, pathology um, medicine and obstetrics that's nice that's nice all scoring subjects okay you and also you short subjects and also <laughs> nice. and radiology sir. i should mention radiology especially radio diagnosis i am not much into radiotherapy but uh, i used to like radio diagnosis like spotter no need to waste waste much time on one question you uh, within 5 yes, seconds yes, you can just see the image and you pick up the yes. whole thing yes yes and uh, and as you are you have mentioned so many subjects dr madhav and i am sure you know that is the reason you got that score also you know you mentioned anatomy patho medicine obg as well as all the short subjects and radio so you know i'm i'm glad you know you have put core uh, core concepts to work learn the subjects with full heart and uh, you know you applied them well on the exam what was it your um, you was it your preparation mainly of theory based or were you doing mcqs regularly from right from the first year actually sir it was theory based initially but uh, uh, the luckiest part is that in our university curriculum we used to have daily based mcq sir computer based test so which okay. helped me a lot in introducing to answering the mcq part um, okay. of course there was there was the theory exams also in some subjects but major concentration was on objective based so it helped me a lot sir in my okay. fng preparation okay and i think in ukraine you guys also have this croak exams right and uh, how, yes, how, how different how different this croak from your uh, preparation for fmg uh, sir it it majority uh, there is similarity sir in this uh, both examinations 
it's like a continuation of croak sir in some subjects especially clinical subjects in croak 2 we will be having all these major clinical subjects and uh, uh, psychiatry ophthalmology ent so it helped me a lot sir actually it was uh, in may uh, when i was taken my final year exam so it's in december so it was like a continuation for me sir of course there is a break in july uh, during my graduation period and uh, uh, all the documentation work but later on i uh, managed to continue that same pace sir okay and uh, dr madhav when did your journey with arise start and uh, when did you come to know about arise and uh, like how did how did the whole experience be <clears throat> yes sir i got introduced in into arise in my final year uh, during the covid situation uh okay. yeah, i started with anatomy initially and then pathology ophthalmology all the subjects were covered beforehand itself later when i came back to india again it started with uh, biochemistry all the remaining subjects ent like this psychiatry and i should mention about psm sir because it's a major subject and in ukraine we used to have psm but uh, it was more into their curriculum their anal their stat- statistics uh, it was different that is the one subject which is different from india yes. and the other countries and i should mention so, yes. so basically you started connecting with arise from your final year and you attended the regular sessions with us in yes, the final year and then after coming back you shifted to the intense mode uh, that you came nice yes. and uh, dr madhav like what was your uh, strategy were you making notes handwritten notes or were you following the pdfs that we give after the classes yes sir for uh, important topics and for topics which i felt there is difficulty i used to take notes sir and mm-hmm. uh, if at all there are some important points like must know points i used to make sticky notes and mm-hmm. uh, for short subjects i used to prefer i write pdf sir okay and i used to mm-hmm. mark in that okay and was there a change in your preparation strategy when you were in the foundation batch in your final year and when you came back from to india like were you d- having different approach or you got serious right from the final year itself uh i was a bit serious but approach means i think the uh, time which i sp- uh, spend on one subject it's uh, decrease when I, when i was in foundation match okay uh one subject itself so let me take some more time to read i used to take like that but later on during this core preparation time uh i i decreased that time sure, so i yeah, to sure, include more subjects okay and uh, mother to get a score like that okay to score 243 uh, like how many revisions did it take you and in the first attempt and uh, like how many revisions were you able to do sir actually truly speaking i didn't Uh, revise uh, directly through notes. I I think it was more like a retrograde manner. I would say mm-hmm. so I used to solve MCQs and uh, I used to leave for part which I was okay, which which I can manage. Uh, okay. For part uh, for some part where is the, where there is confusion or where I get things messed up, I used to go back and refer that sir. So basically, you fin- you listen to the classes, got your concepts right, but your revision mainly was uh, through your MCQs, basically, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I need to say this that um, uh, if at all, uh, I think first reading is the best reading, sir. Means mm-hmm. you need to concentrate first on first go itself to grasp everything, to absorb everything. If at all there is something missed out, it can be covered during uh, uh, grand test time, sir. That's yes. what I want. Mm-hmm. and uh, did you write all the subject wise exams as as well or were you more into completing theory and then going into exams were you doing uh, i i didn't take uh, much of subject wise exams sir but i was into this grant as uh, okay. i like i like mixed by kind of and uh, what about uh, this thing like were you able to segregate like minor subjects and give them less time major subjects you gave more time yes, was it like that yes sir i segregated yes sir initially uh the uh, i i decided that uh, i should not miss out on ma- minor subjects because they are like if you study once okay you are done 
uh, no need to concentrate more on that but uh, for clinical subjects we need to revise more so i i thought okay let me complete these things first and i completed first major sub uh, minor subjects then later on moved to major during your preparation did you get some phases where you started doubting your preparation or you know you felt that you it's not complete or the resource that you're going through may not be sufficient did you get those feelings yes sir it's it's uh, obvious for everyone <laughs> nobody can't escape those feelings yes sir i was into that phase nice and i'm glad it helped you and uh, i hope uh, you 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 were happy with the uh, support and the efforts that was done by the team arise for you one thing which uh, uh, which is different from other things and arise is that arise it is uh, we are we are having live classes sir. so yes. for people uh, uh, who are uh, Uh, not able to push themselves uh, it mm. it helps a lot sir if it of course recorded sessions may be available later on but listening to live classes is something different sir recording sessions are also present in other sources also but you need to push yourself you need to create your own yes. schedule no. you need mm. to push yourself which is a bit difficult so mm. ri stands apart in that were you able to follow the schedule regularly dr madhav or did you have to adapt uh, to your own timelines and stuff were you able to push yourself to follow the schedule were you able to complete with us yes yes sir i was able to do that uh, for some subjects i was not able to do that but i managed through uh, grand tests and all that stuff sir okay. and uh, what about your uh, test and discussions did you attend all the test and discussions yes sir i attended Yes, sir. I attended test and discussion for major. What do you suggest to your juniors? Okay, many of your juniors must be listening to you in their universities. Okay, in the also in Zaporozhye. I would say that uh, yeah, to start early, sir. It it means uh, this makes the process much easier uh, mm-hmm. because during the course study study period, you can concentrate on your lacuna and you can do more tests and revision will have major part in course study period. if at all we completed the major part uh, before coming back to india it helps us a lot for the people who are in first and second years i say that it is, it is their golden time not to waste much time on other aspects but to study on daily basis no need to study for 8 to 10 hours daily yes that's a very good advice starting early and uh, you know finishing a uh, small micro targets on a daily basis and uh, completing and not keeping your concepts to be learned coming back to india you should try to complete it there and come here for revisions and one more important thing mother revision plays a very very important role especially to you know have we have such vast subjects and all were your revisions towards the end of the course close to you know november december or did you place your revisions in a strategic manner so that you could revise it at frequent intervals I think I revised it at frequent intervals and in a retrograde method, sir. And for a few topics which I was not sure, I used to discuss with my friends, and which this helped me a lot. Okay, so group study and having a good, good, good team work for you. Yes. Any special, sir. any special mentions, or any special friends who helped you in the academic uh, journey? Uh, not uh, like that, sir. But we had a group, uh, so yes. where we can discuss uh, and uh, nice. share some. some uh, uh, telegram quizzes like that yes sir nice nice, nice. that's that's nice and uh, you know you had maintained a proper circle with you who can you know push you through with the preparation also that's nice and uh, dr madhav like uh, what was uh, your thought process on the day of exam were you confident um, were your grand test marks correlating already you knew that you were going to get uh, 240s on your grand test yes, only yes, or sir, i got the same scores uh, almost same scores but in in grand test but i thought okay paper was easy that's why that's why i'm right. getting this i thought like right. that but it actually reflected the that's main nice. exam that's, that's nice so you were well well prepared and you were you knew that you would be able to do it and uh, that, that, that confidence comes by starting early and i'm really happy and glad uh, dr madhav with the score that you have got in you have made uh, not just your university proud all your parents and all the team arise is very proud of your achievement we wish you great future ahead and uh, what are your future plans i mean with, with having achieved uh, this battle now what are your future plans going forward yes sir i need to complete my internship and uh, hide, uh, write me pg how was your parents reaction i mean uh, are you having a family of doctors or you are the first one uh, yes sir we are we had uh, doctors in our family i think nice. i am the fifth one 
ஒருத்தர்மினேஷன் <laughs> were you so motivated right from the first year or uh, like i didn't yes, understand sir. how come somebody starts studying so seriously from the first year especially you know sir doctor. actually during my intermediate itself i was more into this medical terminology and i was very passionate about yes. it so i started to study and uh, during in, in my second and third year also i used to study subjects like uh, fourth and uh, fifth year some some topics which i felt interested so uh, finally it made me to integrate and correlate everything and uh, Uh, it helped me a lot sir basically the 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 passion for medicine the the, the love for uh, medical fields okay the, the, this will always be the the care that you do all well, everything that you learn today is going to save somebody's life so the passion that you have right to, for this medical subjects and to understanding the concepts it definitely helps you grow your concepts in deep and uh, really happy dr madhav for your achievement and we wish you more laurels more more uh, success going ahead and more prosperity and uh, i want you to relax now for a bit take a celebrate this is this moment and this occasion rarely comes right and that score of 243 is something you have to celebrate and we look forward to meet you in person also so wishing you all the best, best luck uh, dr madhav and uh, we hope to see you as a practicing doctor and uh, you know changing lives back here in india all the best dr madhav it's a great thank pleasure to talk to you thank you so much yes sir yes sir pleasure is mine